Is your account being run properly on Amazon? I'm gonna give you four quick tips that you can check to see if your confidence in whoever's currently managing your account is doing a good job. Maybe you're checking on yourself. Let's find out. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. This is one of my products called some incense smudge sticks. In any case, the first tip for you is to see if the product has ever gone out of stock. If in the last 90 days, any one of your top three products has gone out of stock, that would be a bad sign. Here you can use a Chrome extension such as Helium 10 to see if the BSR ever disappears on the chart. Good news here, it doesn't. But what you will look for is if you see some blank blue line dots just disappear all of a sudden, you know your item went out of stock or there's a severe catalog issue. This is the easiest thing to check and that's why I started here. Small bonus tip, if you don't see a yellow line, that means you haven't set list price and that means they don't know how to do that. Second bonus tip, have they set up shipping alerts on your inventory? Do you have red um, alert symbols, these bell red symbols right here, are they going off? If that's the case, are they getting near? Is there a zero on any of those? That could be a problem. That could mean a stock out. If you don't even see the bells on the available inventory column, they haven't even shut up shipping alerts. Next area to check is SEO. This one's a quick and dirty, easy tip. Just go to the inventory page like you see on screen, hit edit on any of the top selling products and make your way to wherever the keyword section is. You may see this in the supplier description in some categories, you may see it in the product details and others, they keep moving it around. But once you find the keyword section, it'll most likely say generic keywords. Are they using 250 bytes in the search term field? There are not 250 characters. Spaces do not count against you, which means there's 20% extra juice, and I'll show you. Watch how I type this in, and we're gonna see the red alert go off here to show what the error message will be. You can't go over 250 bytes. It says it right there, 250 B-Y-T-E-S, which means spaces don't count against you. So you're gonna take this field right here, and you're gonna Google a byte counter, Top Google, go to Google and type in byte counter no spaces. The tool I found to be the most helpful was Racco right here. When you type it in, it's gonna give you the character count, but it also shows you the character count without spaces. And this is what Amazon is considering for the byte count. So if it comes in and you see only 210 like this, that means there's an extra 40 letters you can add in. Doesn't that sound like 20% more SEO juice you can add in right now? That's a problem and one you should be worried about. And by the way, I was the first person on the internet to break that news on January 21st. You can see my LinkedIn post right here. I called out all the SEO tools on LinkedIn, tagged Helium 10, Jungle Scout, you name it. They all got this one wrong. Here you can see the actual error message and all of the stats and information when we broke that news. If you wanna follow me, on our weekly Q&As on every Friday at noon. You can come ask me any Amazon question and I break news like this all the time. Our next section of tips is gonna be advertising. I'm gonna give you three actionable things you can check on ads. The first is super easy. Just simply look for anything out of stock. Go to your advertising console, look at all the campaigns, and in here, if you see anything not delivering, it's out of stock or it doesn't have budget rather, that's a problem. If you see that, that means they're not lowering the bids to maximize the budget or they're not simply just raising the bids or raising the budget. Next advertising tip, go into the top spending auto campaign. In here, you're gonna click into the ad group and you're gonna check to see if there's any negative targeting set up. If you don't see negative keywords, that means there's ad dollars that are being wasted on your auto campaign. And that means you could find some negations to add and immediately save money. If you don't see negations on an auto campaign or its ad group, that is a sign of misadvertising management. Please do keep in mind on this particular tip that negative keywords can be added at the campaign level like you see here, or when you click into the ad group level here. And you don't need to have it in the ad group if it's at the campaign level already. The campaign level will trump the ad group versus if you have multiple ad groups on a campaign, it will only apply to that particular ad group. 
The third advertising tip is dive into the search term report. Now, if there's no negations, this is a good follow-up. Sort the spend like this and see if there's any keywords that have an enormous ad A costs or are never going to convert. For example, this ASIN right here, this skull coin necklace, which has nothing to do with Johnny Depp or Megapint, 23 clicks have been clicked on, $27 in spend, no sales. I think this is a safe keyword to negate. You're going to head over to the negations, add negative keyword, and type it in just like this. You don't want your ad dollars going to keywords or products that are going to be a waste of ad spend. So those are the advertising tips. This last tip is probably the most complex, but we'll give you the most macro view. You're going to go over to reports, business reports, and look at the sales and traffic. I recommend you sort this by month and take a one-year view like this. Now, in here, what you're looking for is trend lines or data issues that you're just not comfortable with. Maybe you start out at 100,000 a month, then it's just slowly tanking, going to 80, going to 70, for example. That would be a big problem. But in my case, you can see my account is all over the place. I'll have 170K a month in December, followed by January in the 30s, into March, and then all of a sudden we picked up for Mother's Day with $141,000 in sales. So what you're gonna look for is things like click-through rate, conversion rate issues, to see if there's any issues inside of the business report. And so you can look at uh, all of the data here to get an extrapolation and things that you're looking for. For example, let's see if we can find anything of interest. Maybe the session count is going down, but your sales are static. That might mean you have an SEO problem. You got to go check it out. Maybe your sales are static, but your conversion rate is going down and your sessions are going up. Maybe you need to ask about the conversion rate. Why is June, for example, at a 5% record low conversion rate? On my particular account, it's because I started doing some retail arbitrage in mass, which will clearly explain my metrics, but you may have a very different picture. That's why this particular tip is on the more complex side because you need to understand the macro view to know which question to ask on your particular business report. But that is the show today. If you learned something new, post it in the comment section or post your own tip. What's something that you think you can quickly identify on an account to figure out if it's being managed correctly? My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And if you're not getting the management that you need, it would be my pleasure to serve you. Head over at myamazonguy.com, click on the Grow Sales Faster button, and fill out a contact form. We can meet with you. Same-day appointments are available. Thanks so much.